but I just want to tell you, I want to talk to you about things that I've changed and things that have changed for me, even since the last video as well. So on that note, let's roll the intro. So, if you're new to the channel, welcome along, thanks for joining me, if you've been here before, welcome back, thanks for your likes, your support, don't forget you can subscribe if you haven't already done so, it's free, and it helps me incredibly. So please feel free to do that. Thank you very much. All right. Just exercising my barefoot Willie's ah! throttle tender. <laughs> my last video, if you haven't seen that, it is on that very thing. That little tiny thing right there, is it? Chick -chick 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 -chick. <laughs> Works great. Works great. Love it. Okay, so cut to the chase. We'll start this discussion right now. So we're still in lockdown. I think we're up to week three. By the time you see this video, it probably will be week four. Uh, not riding much these days. Only trips to and from the post office. As permitted. Oh, that's going to piss me off. My local post office is closed, so and it's a Saturday. So I've got to find... The next one, the next the next post office, which is in uh, another sort of suburb outside of Five Corners, so I hope that I have a valid reason to, or, or an excuse to be outside of my kilometer, five kilometers, I'm going to have to fix this. Should have known that would happen. Bloody thing. Ah. Yeah, I've, I've got a letter to the post. I don't have any stamps, so. I'm going to go to the post office. Alright, so, you may have noticed, and I don't know how clearly you can see that, but here's my little decal. Do you like that? It's cute, isn't it? <laughs> I like it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so, how that all started. About maybe five, maybe six months ago, Jill uh, bought me a Across here. Uh, Joe bought me a blotting machine uh, to explain what that is. Hang on a second. <laughs> yeah. um, it's, it's a cutting, it's a vinyl cutting machine, so I can now cut t shirts and print them. And I can cut decals as well. And I'll show you some pictures of some work that I've done already. Um, yeah, about maybe five or six months ago, Jill bought me this machine because she thought it would be something that I would enjoy doing. And she wanted it for what, she, what she's doing as well. She's doing some floristry. And just to add that professional touch on some of the, the flower boxes, um, you know, we're, we're uh, we can cut people's names, and we're, we're unlimited to what we could use it for, what we could do do with it. So it's not just for me; it's for her as well. So we're both using it for different things, which is cool. So uh, I am now cutting DJ's logos as decals and uh, DJ's t-shirts as well and printing them onto t-shirts we've also started our own little um, like a little brand or a logo together Jill and I don't be a dumbass <laughs> so they'll go into um, production very soon we've already, we've already got a whole heap of orders 
So that's really kept me busy for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, so six months ago, the machine sat in the box for about, I don't know, maybe five months. And I, I just wasn't in the right headspace to, to look at it. I kept walking past it, thinking, shit, that's another thing that I've got to do. And I just couldn't get my head around. And I was learning it and, um, and using it, you know, trying to figure out how it all worked and all that sort of stuff. But I've done that now and I'm glad I did. Thank you, Jill. She always knows what I need and when I need it. And it's filled by my days. Like I said, I'm, I'm busy for uh, 12 hours or a little bit less every day doing DJ stickers and um, car de decals and bike decals and my little decal right there. It's cute! <laughs> um, it's kept me busy. It's, it's kept my mind off a lot of stuff that I can't do and, and made me concentrate on things that I can do. Because I got a bit lost for a little while there and Jim will tell you that I haven't been the easiest person to live with lately and I'm sure uh, a lot of other people will, will feel the same will be in the same situation and I'm here to tell you that just find something small to do such a small little simple thing like that for me it's it's helped me incredibly like you would not believe And I'm having fun doing it as well. And it's just amazing the, the, the people that I'm reaching and the people that are uh, reaching out to me uh, with things that they want and they need and complimenting me on how cool things look. That's awesome. I, I love that kind of feedback from people. Amazing, amazing. Awesome. So that's my little, my little story for, for this video. It's very short, very simple. If anybody out there that needs, if anybody needs any details, you know, I'll, I'll print one for you, I'll, I'll print ten for you or more. If you want a t-shirt done, let me know. Reach out. More than happy to help anyone. And if you need, if you need, if you just need somebody to talk to, if you, if you just want to reach out and talk to somebody. I'm available. Always happy to talk. So that's my little story for today. It's um, it's a feel-good story, I think. From the slum that I was in for a while. It's come good. I've come good. Because I know it, it hasn't been easy for, for a lot of people. And, and me included, it's been very difficult from going, coming from working a lot, doing a lot, to nothing. It's been hard. So there you go, it's, um, it's all positive for me. If you'd like to share some stories with me as well, please feel free to comment below, like, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff. Like I said, it's free to subscribe. I'd love to have you along. I'd love to. I'd love for you to be on this this journey, this adventure with me. That'd be awesome. So on that note, I'm going to leave it there and move on to dad joke. Number nine. <laughs> Why is it always the good guys? Why? Are you ready for it? <laughs> Alright, so this one was was given to me by my mother-in-law, Jill's mother. Thanks, Mum. Let me just open up my razor. <laughs> so just before I left, she said this to me. She told me this joke. And 
suggested that I use it as a dad joke. And here we are, so, dad joke. Thanks, man. Now this one is kind of relates to me because I am of Maltese descent. <laughs> Hence the reason why I'm only five foot seven tall. Okay, so let's go. How do you make a Maltese cross? How do you make a Maltese cross? You ready? You step on his foot. <laughs> you step on his foot. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mum, for giving me that joke. That's a good one. She thought it was appropriate. <laughs> so did I. So did I. Oh, sh! I forgot my uh, my mask. Damn it! I'll have to leave my helmet on. <laughs> Step on his foot. There you go. Oh, guys, thanks very much for joining me. Uh, don't forget. Like and subscribe, comment, hit the little bell icon. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. There it is. Now what that does is it tells you that uh, notifies you of any new content that I upload to the, the channel. Whenever I upload to the channel, so you don't want to miss that. You'll get that notification. And it is locked in for Tuesday nights. So Tuesday nights, every Tuesday night I will release a video at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. sharp, Tuesday nights. But don't take my word for it. Subscribe, hit the little bell icon. Is it gonna move? Hit the little bell icon so you're notified. And away we go. Then you can join me in my adventures and laugh at my silly little dad jokes. Idiot. It's all in good fun with all that's happening and all this lockdown stuff all the COVID stuff. You gotta laugh, right? <laughs> so make sure you join me here. Yeah? Okay, so until next time guys, thank you very much once again for watching. Please stay safe. Stay at home. See you real soon. Take care. Why? Because we like you. Bye for now, yeah?